to today's video. It is freezing. We are in for a deep freeze, like a massive deep freeze. Although it kind of looks like Mom. things are melting. What, love? Part one of the hidden things in my bag. What is it? The flaky. <gasps> wow. The last of the flakies. The last of the flakies. She hid it so she could have it. Anyway, welcome to, she's a smart girl. Anyways, welcome to today's video. We're headed to the barn. We haven't been able to go to the barn since very early in the week. And we've had to ha ask other people to ride our horses for us. The two times that we've missed riding them. We ride three times a week, uh, two lessons. And one time like we play or ride on our own depending what we're doing. But anyway, uh, we were able to ride once and then the other two times we've had somebody else take care of them, keep them in shape and keep them going so uh, that they're prepared and ready for us when we come back. So we haven't been to the barn almost for a whole week and we're going there today to see our boys. We miss them. We very rarely ever miss so many days. Sometimes in the summer we'll miss like two rides but very rarely do we ever do that. So they had a little bit of a break and had somebody uh, taking care of them for us. But we're headed there and we're going to see our horses. And I want you guys to know that we're not ignoring the fact that some of you guys don't understand all the things that are being said. And it's really difficult right now to explain. A lot of posts that I've made explaining have been deleted and blocked. And, and I am going to make a video about the struggles that Sophie and Finney are having, like how he's unbalanced and she's unbalanced and it makes him, um, you know, move differently sometimes to carry her differently, to balance her. And it's the same pretty much as all beginner riders. It's the reason why trainers will lots of times ask an older, more experienced person to get on a pony and straighten them up because they need training rides. It's just a common, regular thing when you, have beginner riders on horses is something that happens and I'm gonna make a video I'm gonna explain it I hope you guys know I know most of you guys do know that we don't abuse our horses and we're kind to our animals and we love them so much give me a little bit of time to get my video together to help you guys understand but for now we are going to the barn we're gonna see our boys and we're gonna see if they're excited to see us <laughs> So one thing I really love about this barn is that they let us prepare our own grain and then they just feed it. And what makes it really special is that I can put things inside their grain, like so many supplements, like Chino gets, well they both get um, Mad Barn oil. And every day Sam comes, or every few days we bring new grain to put in there. So Sam's doing that. Oh God, actually has two clothes in the car. All right. I have a sweater in the car. All right, but anyways, we're not riding today. We don't usually ride on weekends. It's uh, slippery. But we haven't seen them for a few days and we miss them so much. So we wanted to come and just check on them. Just let them know that we love them. There's a <laughs> yeah, there's lots of, lots of frozen horse poop, huh, Finn? I think we're not doing this today. Hey, Chino. I just said hello. Like, we visit our horses so much. Didn't he have a neck on? Yeah, he did have a neck on. <laughs> Where's your neck, oh, Chino? Oh, can you run down and grab it? Hi, handsome. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the cold went into my lungs. Oh. It's hard to breathe out here. Yeah, it is cold, you guys. So cold. Hi, handsome. We've been missing you. Oh, look, she's going to get it for me. <laughs> You're lucky that you have a sister like that. Yeah, Let's... go get it. <laughs> go get it, sister. <laughs> That's so funny. She likes the bottom stuff. That's so, yeah. Like I know. We were just watching. Like, Chino loves chaff. Isn't that funny? And when he was at our house, we always would give him chaff because he loves it and he would always, do you guys remember? We would have to put hay in a bucket and drag it out to the field because the field was far away so then all the chaff would be at the bottom and he would just walk around following us as we put hay piles in. Yeah, all the chaff yep. would fall yeah. to the bottom of the bucket and he would follow the bucket. Like, we'd be putting hay on the ground for him to eat but he wouldn't even care. He'd follow the bucket because he likes the chaff and he's pushing the net. See, their hay bale has like a big net on it and he pushes it to the side so that he can get all the little chaff that falls through. You know, they, they go through that 
big round bale pretty fast. Yeah, they go through hay really fast. And the people at this barn are using the hay net to slow them down a bit. It's been really beneficial for them. It's been out here for a while. <laughs> Chino! <laughs> and somehow he got out of that. That? Yeah, sure. I would totally touch that. It is because, frozen. You know, a blanket's just freeze by itself. <laughs> He's like, oh, I hated that. You know. Where are you going, handsome? Hey, where are you going? Oh, you're pooping? <laughs> Hello, do I have treats? He's like, wait, you came to visit us and you did not bring us any treats? It's funny how like you take for granted how often you see your horses and then suddenly you don't see them for a while and you're devastated. Like, it's just like, oh my God, I don't sparky. Want to get Sparky! Oh, it's Gray Finn. Hi, Gray Finn. Gray Finn. We should go see him, too. No, he's freezing. <laughs> that gate is not fun to open, let me tell you. Yeah. What about Tuchino? Yeah. Don't worry. You got hay on her. <laughs> you got hay on her. She is such a princess. You can't have hay on her. Well, hay is annoying. Hay <laughs> is annoying. She knows why. You are not my friend if you think hay is annoying. Yeah, we'll be back tomorrow. We promise, back, we got you guys all stocked up in grain so that you're good, yeah. Yeah, he's like, oh, you guys have more treats, we love you. We love you, Finny boy. We got no more treats. What? If you stick your hands inside of the blanket because your hands are cold, it's really warm. Yeah. All right, all right, we're leaving. You guys, wait for us, okay? Look at him. He's like, he's such a snuggler. Like that's the thing that I love the most about Vin, is that he snuggles. He lays his head on you. He cuddles. Yeah, he loves the headrest. <laughs> is it you? It's been almost a week. I missed you so much. <laughs> he's kissing you. <laughs> That's what I like. That's the part of Finn that people don't see. Like he is such an emotional, loving boy, and he loves her with the, so much. Like he just loves her and loves her and loves her. And Chino is trying to attack my pocket. Listen, Chino. listen, big man. There are no treats in there for you. Grab this thing. We'll thaw it out, sew it up, and be back. We'll see you guys. Goodbye, handsome. They're like, wait, can't we come? They're doing really well with the salt lick that we bought them. We bought them this for Christmas. Do you guys remember? And they're actually licking it and they appreciate it and love it. We also put salt in their feed. We're in the process of changing Chino's feed. And that's why we come so often because we like to do it slowly over a long period of time, so we have to come often and bring their bags of grain. The ones I'm doing he Chino. called the red bag orange. He called the red bag orange? He called that orange. So orange. this is our this is our system. Yeah, that is orange. That is red. <laughs> All right, everybody, what color is this? It's like a it's bright red. ready orange. It's red. Yeah. It's red. Yeah, it is red, but it looks kind of orange when the sun is on it. But it's anyway, ready this is our grain system. So these are fins and we're able to put like our oil and we're able to put their oil there and their salt. You have the salt there? Yeah, it's in there. And other supplements. We give we give Chino a couple of different things. So this is where we do our grain operation. But I really like it. It works so good for us because usually when you go to a barn you have to like give them the grain and give them directions and they put all the supplements in which is awesome and amazing but we like to change the supplements as time goes on and as we like because i feel like our horses we've like changed so many things and you're guaranteed you know what they're getting so yeah like when we make our own bags oh there's the sun when we make our own bags up we can change it and adjust it like we can we can uh, wean them off of one grain and change the grain and not that we do a lot of that But right now we are in a transition with Chino And so we can do all that without having to like complicate things for the barn owners like they would do it But it's just so much like effort and I appreciate that they that they, I appreciate that they would do it 
but I love the fact that we don't have to ask them to. We, it easier for them we to. can just make it easier for them. We like put our grain and all our supplements in a bag. All they have to do, grab a bag, dump it in the in their feed pan and walk by. Chino's over there lifting up the bag of hay to shake the chaff out the bottom hay and get net. the Yeah, out of the hay net. He's moving the hay net to get the chaff at the bottom. Like the boy knows what he likes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, they're licking their salt lick. Finn's See him? Right yeah, it. he's grabbing it and pushing it. One thing I miss about having our horses at home is that we used to like know everything about them and watch everything about them, and that's so like there's nothing better than that in the whole world. And maybe one day again, we'll have our horses at home with us and have a trainer that comes to our house. But right now, our kids really like being on the team, so it's important to us. All right, so tomorrow is Valentine's Day. And everything is gone off the shelves. There's nothing, nothing for Valentine's Day, Sophie. How about a stuffed animal? What is in? What animal is this? Is this a bear? Uh-oh, or a, another bear? Or another bear? Look, you can sit there all on the shelf by yourself. Oh, that's so cute. What's its name? Celine. Celine. Don't you know that you're beautiful?